When it comes to the future of space, there is a new leader tonight for NASA's Human Space Flight Division. Channel 2 Space reporter Roseanne Aragon is live in the newsroom, and Roseanne, she is making NASA history. That is so right. This is big news for NASA, and it will be in the books with Houston being the home to human space flight. I asked her and NASA's administrator how Space City will play a role in their plans, and they say the future looks bright. From commercial crew program manager to associate administrator of the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate, Kathy Leaders is now the NASA Human Spaceflight's top official. I've always been impressed with her ability to lead teams um, and her technical competence. She is replacing Doug Lavero, who abruptly resigned weeks before the Demo 2 launch. NASA mentioning personnel issues. But after a successful Demo 2 launch and ongoing plans to head to Mars in 2020 and to the moon in 2024, Leader says her goal and challenge is to get plugged in and to keep pushing forward. It's very important to have an aggressive goal. But I also think what's important is when you come across technical challenges, you're focused on making sure you're achieving your aggressive goal, doing it right is better than doing it faster. Leaders is making history as the first woman to take this position. When we can see ourselves and the people that are out there, it makes us realize we can do it. And that's very, very important for not only girls out there, but for all groups of people that are. She will also help put the first woman on the moon. And she and Jim Bridenstine agree. The home of mission control. I think it's important to note that when our astronauts are on the moon, uh, they're going to be, the first word is going to be Houston. So, yeah, the Johnson Space Center plays a very critical role. He said it, the first word will be Houston. Leaders also says Houston is dear to her. She has a daughter and grandchild here and spent more than a decade at the Johnson Space Center. Reporting live from the newsroom, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.